feed it of the three person to take radish to take pepper to take salt and the one who takes no salt takes no pepper okay so it's a twisted language as well let me quickly draw a grid of people let's say this is the first person this is second person and this is the third person and the three people are taking relish uh, pepper and salt two people are taking relish two are taking pepper two are taking salt so we have to check at two places in this row in the second row as well as in the third row now let's quickly see the one who takes no salt takes no pepper okay no salt if somebody let's say first person does not take any salt no salt so he does not take any pepper either that's one and uh, one who takes no pepper takes no relish and the one who takes no pepper takes no relish <coughs> So that would be incorrect because we needed two checks here. So the following statements must be true. No pepper. Takes no pepper. Takes no relish. I think it should be like this. The one who takes no salt takes no pepper. And the one who takes no pepper takes no relish which are the following statements must be true that means now in order to make it two we have to check both of them for the two we have to check both of them we have to check both of them that's the only possibility that we have to go through now let's quickly see the statements which are the following must be true the person who takes no salt also takes no relish has to be true because the person who takes no relish takes no salt and no pepper any of the three person who take pepper also takes relish and salt this also is true because all three of them are checked the person who takes no relish is not one of those who takes salt the person who takes no relish is not the person who takes the salt that also is true because that person does not take any salt either so all three of them are correct the answer must be option E so I would definitely not call it an easy question it would be a medium difficulty level question because here making this grid was altogether a different experience which has not been encountered in any GMAT question before but thank you so much for watching this video